Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to crochet this beautiful waffle stitch hat. The waffle stitch makes a nice cozy and thick fabric and I've made this nice fold over ribbed band. So this hat is gonna be nice and warm for the winter season. Mary Maxim provided me with Mill of Spun DK for this tutorial. It's a light number three weight yarn. I'm using the color soft pink and I've picked out a matching pom-pom and I'll have the links in the description box for all of the supplies. So this is a snap style pom-pom. So we'll sew this to the top of the hat at the end. You'll need two crochet hooks for this pattern. I'm using a 4.5 millimeter for the body of the hat and a four millimeter for the band. And this hat will be worked from the top down. Okay, we're going to begin with a magic ring. So wrap the yarn around your index finger three times and with our 4.5 millimeter hook, slide through all three loops, grab your first loop, pulling it through and we'll chain two. We'll now begin working nine double crochets in the ring. I've worked nine double crochets. So now what you wanna do is start to pull your tail. You're going to see one loop pull in and one loop not pull. So now take the loop that's pulled in, give it a tug, take your tail and pull. And now you're gonna have a nice tight circle that won't come undone. Now you're gonna find your first double crochet, those two loops at the top of the stitch and we're going to slip stitch to join. We'll now chain two. Our chain two is not included as a stitch throughout this pattern. We're going to work two double crochets into every stitch around. So we're increasing from nine to 18. Now this is an intermediate pattern if you don't know how to crochet or need to work on your stitches. I can link a beginner double crochet tutorial for you. And repeat that around. Okay, once you get all the way around, we're again going to find the top of that first double crochet stitch and slip stitch to join. Chain two. We're going to do another increase round, but we're going to start bringing in some front post double crochets because we really want to get right into this waffle stitch pattern right away with how we're increasing this hat. Now a little tip, if I only have included four sizes in this pattern, but if you want to do any different sizing, you could always just increase until you get to the correct stitch count and then start into the waffle stitch pattern. It's a little more complicated increasing with the waffle stitch. So I have two hat sizes starting with nine, two hat sizes starting with 12 to get a nice consistent increase. So what we'll do is double crochet in the first two stitches. Now, if you look at your stitches here, we have one, two posts. That was our first increase of the last round. So now to do our next increase, we're going to do a front post around that second double crochet stitch. So you'll yarn over, we're going under the stitch, so we're going front to back, and then to the front, you're gonna yarn over, pulling through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. So this is our increased stitch right here. So make sure you don't miss any double crochets as we go around because we are, we are working in every stitch plus doing that post. So a double crochet in the next two 
and then a front post around that same stitch that we just worked into. So yarn over, we're going around the post. So we're going down, around the back, back to the front, completing the stitch. And we're gonna com continue to do this around. So this post is the extra stitch now we're adding. So we're increasing another nine stitches. Repeat that around. So once we get around, we're going to do a front post in that last double crochet. It's our final increase. And then we will slip stitch in our first double crochet to join. Chain two. Now we're gonna start into some back post double crochets and this is going to start really accentuating our waffle stitch pattern. So those first two double crochets, we're going to work back post doubles. So we're yarning over. This time we're going back to front to back around that stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So again, we yarn over, we're going back to front to back. Okay, there's the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. And now it's gonna pop that stitch right here to the front, and then it's gonna give us that line we need for that waffle stitch. Now here is our next stitch. This is our front post double crochet from the previous round. In the top of it, we're going to add two double crochet, and this will be our increase. Then we'll come to the next two doubles, and we'll do back post doubles in those stitches. The front post right here, we need to now do two double crochets for our increase. back post, we're yarning over, going from the back to the front to the back, completing the stitch, and two doubles. Okay, and I'm gonna repeat that around. Okay, so I've come around, here is my final front post double crochet, and I'm gonna add two double crochets and I'll slip stitch in the first back post double to join chain two so this round we have a total of 36 stitches and round five will be our last increase for this size Okay, so now we'll be working in these back post doubles, a double crochet in each. Now we need to get another increase here. So what we're going to do in the first double, we're going to work a front post double crochet. In that same stitch, we need to work a double. So you're going to find the top of the stitch right here, go under the two loops, work a double crochet. We're doing a double crochet in the top of that double, but now we need to also go around this double at, for another front post. So this is a big increase, we're increasing a total of 18 stitches for this round because how the waffle stitch pattern works if we look at this hat we need a post with two doubles a post two doubles etc okay so we need to get those two stitches in here so we have this consistent pattern for the waffle stitch so now the two back posts again, we'll do two doubles, one, two, and then we come to these raised doubles right here. 
we're going to do a front post in that same stitch. We need to work a double crochet. So you're going to find it to the back, a double crochet in the next and around the same stitch, a front post. And we're just going to continue with this pattern now all the way around. Okay, so I'm coming around to the end. I'm going to do this final increase with you. So we're working the front post, double crochet in the top of the same stitch. Double crochet in the next and a front post in the last stitch. Now we'll slip stitch to join. So you should now have 54 stitches. So now our increase rounds are complete. We have a total of 54 stitches. So we'll start with a chain two. And then we're always going to be alternating between doing doubles and back post doubles. So this was a back post round. This was a double round in those first two stitches. So now we're back to back post and this is going to give us that little ridge there that we need. So a back post and a back post. So when you're doing back posts here, in the front post, you're doing doubles. So now we'll do a double in the top of the front post. And then in the next two doubles, we're doing back post. So you should have back post, back post. So two back posts and then a double. Two back posts. and then a double. Okay, so we're repeating that around. Okay, so round six is ending with the double crochet in the last stitch. We'll slip stitch in our first back post double crochet to join. Chain two. And for round seven, now we'll work doubles in the first two. So a double, a double, and then a front post double crochet in the next. A double, a double, and a front post. And as you can see, it looks pretty flat right now. Um, this is normal. All the sizes are gonna start out this way in a nice flat shape and then we're not increasing anymore. So at, once you stop increasing a hat, if it's flat like this, it is going to start to curve because you're not increasing it anymore. So it's going to naturally, there's no way it's gonna keep going into a, a pizza pie. If it keeps going into a pizza pie, you are continuing to increase your pattern somehow. It should start curving down and forming your hat once you stop increasing. So now what you're going to do for this pattern is we're repeating rounds six and seven. So we're alternating that back post, double, double, back post, and then the next round is the doubles, and then the front post double. Okay, so we'll now repeat those two rounds for a total of 14 rounds. So including your very first round, you wanna increase, or sorry, you wanna repeat round six and seven till you have a total of 14. So I'm gonna continue working the rest of my hat now off camera, and then I'm gonna meet you up to show you how to do our ribbed band. Okay, so I'm finishing up with round 14, which is our back post double crochet round, and I'm ending with a double crochet in the last stitch. We'll slip stitch to join. 
chain one. Now we're gonna work a single crochet in every stitch around and this is gonna set us up for the join as you go band. So we're still working with our 4.5 millimeter. We'll work a single crochet in every stitch. So we're just going as normal through the top of the stitch. No more front or back post stitches. And you should have a total of 54. Once you've worked all the way around, we're gonna slip stitch in the first single crochet to join. And then I'm going to change over to the smaller hook. Now we'll chain out a total of 17. Okay, and this is going to be the length of the ribbing. Then it will be folded over like this. So you can adjust this if you want, but I'm gonna go with a 16 stitch ribbing for this size. So now in the second chain from the hook, we'll work a single crochet and we'll work single crochet stitches down the chain. Now you're going to skip that first stitch right here that you're, you're slip, stitch, slip stitched into, and we're going to slip stitch across the next two. One, two. Then you're gonna turn, and we're working single crochets in the back loop only. So you wanna look at your stitch. We're skipping those two slip stitches and we're going through the back loop of each single crochet. Just make sure to get through all those loops. Okay, for a total of 16 stitches. The end will chain one and turn, and then single crochets in the back loop only. So we're making a rib band working single crochets in the back loop only, but we need to slip stitch it to the base of the hat to attach it as we go. So just remember as you're working your rows, make sure you stay with a 16 stitch count can be easy sometimes to lose a stitch. Okay, like there's the very last one and that can be tricky sometimes, miss. And then we're slip stitching into the next two. So this one you can tell we've already slip stitched into it. You wanna go into the next two, so slip stitch it across. Turn, and now we're just gonna keep working back and forth, slip stitching into the next two. Now, because we have an even number of stitches, we're going to end with only one slip stitch, work back up, and we're going to fasten off at the top, not at the bottom, and that makes it easier when we're slip stitching the band together. So I'm gonna continue working my band around and then I'm gonna meet you up for the finishing step. Okay, so I've worked all the way around and I've double checked that I do have 54 rows. So you can count your ridges, two, four, six, eight, and just count all the way around. I'm gonna chain one and you just wanna put your band edges here together slip stitch through the back loop across to that starting chain and you'll just slip stitch all the way down going through each stitch
Once you're finished, you can fasten off. And we'll, you'll need a yarn needle to weave in your tail. And when you're doing this, you can, whoops, you can go back and mess that up. You can go back and weave in that starting tail to the inside as well. Take your tail, weave it one way, and then just go back in the opposite direction. Okay, so I'm gonna take my seam now. I'm gonna put it to the back of the hat. See how tiny this little one is. This is your zero to three month. Depending on your child, this may they may grow out of it sooner, but it's a nice little baby size. And this yarn is nice and soft. So now for tags, this one is a little big for this size. So you could add one of those uh, one and a half inch square tag or I also have some smaller tags. So I have tags that you can sew onto the hat like this, or these tags you can use um, the leather rivets to attach. So you don't have to do any sewing. So I like to use some embroidery thread for sewing on the tag. This is a sewing needle so it can be tricky to get it through, but once you get it through, you're good. And then you can just go through. I like to leave a tail. For knotting at the end. And you're just gonna be coming up through the hole, going down through the hole. Just make sure you're sewing it on even. So I'm just gonna sew that all the way around. Once you get all the way around, we're just gonna knot this to the back. And next, what we can do is add our pom-pom. Now you can use some embroidery thread. I was able to get this yarn onto my smaller needle. You just need a needle that's gonna go through the holes of your snap. Now there's other styles of pom-poms as well. If you have one with the elastic band, you can sew a button to the inside of the hat or the top of the hat, whatever you prefer. And you can fasten it, fasten the elastic band over the button. Some of them also have ties, so you can just tie the pom-pom. Now you could weave these tails in or just give them a trim. Give your pom-poms a nice blow dry. Sometimes it's easier once you even get it onto the hat. And then you can just blow dry that pom-pom to fluff it. So if you head to the blog, I'll have the sizes there. This is the next size up, which is going to be your baby to toddler size. 
And then I have your child teen size here. And then we have the larger adult size as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials. Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome day.